Hey, I'm Dr. Rina Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and welcome to my channel where you can learn everything you ever wanted to or maybe didn't want to know about urology. So today what I'm going to teach you guys about is what the color of your urine means. So all the different colors that you see in your urine, what exactly does that mean and when should you see your doctor? To start off, urine is made up of 95% water, and the other 5% is made up of things like sodium, chloride, other electrolytes, urea, creatinine, things like that. So those things have certain products in them that make the urine yellow. So the normal urine color is yellow. So we'll go down kind of the spectrum of different colors that you can see. Number one, clear. So what does that even mean? If your urine is clear, that means you are overhydrated. While occasionally that's not a big deal, if you're consistently overhydrated, you could actually get electrolyte imbalances. So you can reduce the sodium in your blood or things of that nature, and that can actually create major problems. So maybe you want to cut back on your drinking a little bit or find out what's going on if you feel like you aren't drinking that much, but your urine is still always very clear. Yellow. So yellow is the normal color of urine, but there's a spectrum. The color that you want to aim for is a light, pale, lemonade yellow. That is kind of the ideal color, and it means that you are drinking just the right amount of water, your urine looks healthy and clear, and you are not too concentrated. So when your urine gets concentrated, it can become a dark yellow or amber color. So that basically means that you are not drinking enough water so, or fluid. So make sure you increase your fluid intake. Typically, straight water is a great option to increase your fluid intake. If you don't like water, you can add some of those flavors inside the water. But you don't want to drink too many sugary drinks or things like that because those can have other negative factors for your health. The next color you might notice is orange. So orange can sometimes be a byproduct of certain medications that you're taking. So some medications that I often prescribe are peridium, and that's a medication that we often use for people who have burning pain when they urinate. And that can actually turn your urine orange and stain anywhere it gets. So if you get it on your underwear, you'll get an orange stain on your underwear. It can also be due to other medications like sulfasalazine or laxatives that contain senna. So if you're taking any of these medications, orange might just be a normal byproduct of taking that medication. Also, if you're eating a lot of orange colored foods that have beta carotene in it, like carrots or sweet potatoes, that can turn your urine an orange tinge. My recommendation for all of these things will be to drink a lot of fluid and see if your urine clears up and wait a little bit. There are certain times where you should be more concerned than others, but orange is not particularly scary. It can also be when your urine is very, very concentrated, it can actually look a little bit orange. So again, drinking water can help with that. Moving on red urine. So this is the color of urine that people get most scared about because it is concerning for blood in the urine. But again, there are some things that you can eat or take as far as medications that can turn your urine red. Certain things like beets, rhubarb, blackberries can turn your urine orange as well. Also certain medications that treat tuberculosis can often turn your urine or even your eyes a little bit red. So if you're taking any of those medications or eating those things, again, drink lots of, of fluid and see if you can flush it out. Otherwise, it may be a sign that there's blood in the urine, and this is a reason to absolutely see your doctor. We need to, one, confirm that there is blood in the urine, and two, do what's called a hematuria workup. And what that entails is urinalysis to assess for blood in the urine or signs of infection and potentially a urine culture. We also do an, an imaging of the upper tracts. This is typically with a CAT scan of the abdomen with and without contrast to see if there are any cysts or masses in the kidney, any stones in the kidney, or any abnormalities in the tubes that drain the kidney from the kidney to the bladder. And then we do a cystoscopy. And a cystoscopy is a procedure where we take a small camera and we look in the bladder to see if there are any stones, tumors, masses, abnormalities that might be causing the bleeding. And we also look at the prostate as well. We also check for a serum PSA or a blood test for prostate cancer. I talk a little bit about prostate cancer in my video where I react to the Kaminsky method, so make sure you check that out because I'll talk a little bit about what goes into screening for prostate cancer in that video. 
And these three tests will typically tell you if you have anything concerning that's causing blood in the urine. And typically we find something in about 15% of patients, but it's very common that we don't find anything at all. But we definitely want to find any sort of abnormality or cancer or stone that might be causing blood in your urine. Any old blood in the urine, this can look brown in color. Lastly, if you have done some extreme exercise, like you ran a very long distance or did some very heavy lifting, you can get what's called rhabdomyolysis. And when this occurs, you actually can break down muscle fibers, and this can be very, very serious. You may have a lot of weakness in your legs, in your thighs, in your shoulders, and some pain, and you might notice brown urine. This is a serious problem. You need to get to an emergency room if this is happening to you because we need to start you on treatment right away to ensure that your kidneys are preserved because this can be dangerous for your kidneys if it's untreated. Brown urine. So brown urine or Coca-Cola colored urine can be a sign of kidney or liver disease. So if the things that I talk about after this don't apply to you or the urine doesn't clear up, absolutely see your primary care doctor to make sure there is nothing else that's causing your urine to be that color. Certain things like Tylenol intoxication, so if you take too much Tylenol or acetaminophen or paracetamol, those things can cause your urine to turn brown in color. Also, if you have green or blue urine, this is pretty uncommon, but certainly certain foods that you eat, like asparagus or blueberries, can turn your urine a little shade of green or blue. There's also certain medications that can change the color of your urine. So commonly in urology, when we're doing surgery, we'll use medications like indigo carmine, methylene blue, or fluorescein that can turn your urine blue or green. There's also medications like Urabel that can turn your urine a little bit of a blue. But Outside of urology, there's some medications that change your urine colors as well. These include propofol, a medication that's commonly used in anesthesia, and amitriptyline, an antidepressant medication that, in fact, we also use in urology sometimes to treat a condition called interstitial cystitis. Moving on, cloudy urine. So cloudy urine can be a sign of urinary tract infection, but it doesn't always mean that you have an infection. So if your only symptom is cloudy urine, but you're not having any pain with urination, any fevers, any lower abdominal discomfort, then do not treat your urine for infection unless you have other reasons to do so, like you have some immunosuppression or you're otherwise not a normal healthy individual and you're pregnant or things like that, you do need to get treated. But in other cases, if you're a normal healthy person with cloudy urine and otherwise completely asymptomatic, please don't take antibiotics unless you start having symptoms. Just drink lots and lots of water and that should help you clear out that cloudy urine. Foamy urine. So foamy urine can often cause a lot of alarm, but most of the time it's just because you have a really strong urine stream and you create some bubbles when you make urine. If that foaminess persists over time, over you know several urinations, then you do want to see your urologist or your primary care doctor because it could be a sign of protein in your urine or kidney disease, or it could be a sign of another problem like a fistula or a connection with the bladder to something. Something else. So I hope you learned something today about the color of your urine and what exactly that means for you. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask them below or other kind of questions about urology that you want me to answer on the channel. Let me know. I make new videos every Monday, so make sure that you subscribe and don't miss any of my videos. And always remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.